Let's take a look at some updates in Flow Simulation for 2018. The first update I want to look at is something called Free Surface within Flow Simulation. This allows us to understand the interaction between two immiscible fluids inside the system. So we've set up a few tanks here and we want to understand what happens when we pour water in and take a look at which tank fills up first. So we have an entry point at the top of the system here and an exit point just to allow the air to, uh, to come out of the system. If we take a look at the input data and the general settings, the option for free surface appears within here. So we would turn this option on. When you do that, it will default to a time dependent study. So you'll need to configure for how long you want the study to run. If we go to the fluid section, we'd need to add two fluids and it will default to an immiscible mixture. If we look at the end here under initial conditions, under concentrations, we can specify what our initial fluid is, but you could also choose to uh, create dependencies and adjust where and at what height different fluids exist within your system. In ours, we've just set the default to water uh, and left it like so. Once we've run the results, we can take a look uh, using the results sections of flow simulation by inserting a cut plot. So I'm just gonna select the front plane here and I'd like to display contours and streamlines for those contours and we'll use the option mass fraction of water. So anywhere that appears as a one is gonna contain water, anywhere less than that will be a, a mix of air and water. So let's add that onto our system. And we can see here that the majority of our tanks are red. Now, because we used a time dependent study, you can see at the top, this is indicating we're looking at the time step for five seconds. Within the results, I can select uh, a different time step if I want to. So here, if I just choose load from time moment, I can then use my drop down to select any of the results that I've chosen to capture. So we'll go a little bit further to the top here and we'll choose 1.84 seconds and we'll add that on. And we can start to understand the difference in the water behavior and mixture at this level. So we can see any areas that don't have any coloring at air and then any areas that do have coloring are a, a sort of percentage level of water. So you can start to understand the behavior of systems like this a lot easier with the new free surface option. Now, just moving on a little bit further, there's a few other things that we can do as well. So what I'm gonna do is just edit that cut plot. We'll turn off the flow streamlines. We don't want those uh, in this one. And we'll just modify our graph color to make it look a little bit more like uh, water. Now, if I come towards the bottom, uh, into the animation section of the system, I can actually create an animation of this cut plot if I want to. So using the insert option here, I'm just gonna use the animation wizard, get it to remove all the existing tracks, and then I'm gonna use the scenario option and specify that I want that to run over five seconds. Now, if we take a look at the cut plot that we've added, I'm going to insert control point for that and run that all the way to the end of the time step. And then if I play that, we can start to see the water behavior over time moving into the system. We'll take a look at another example in flow simulation now. So I'll switch over to this car mirror uh, and we're gonna focus in on something called noise prediction. So this is new for SOLIDWORKS 2017 SP5, but I thought it was worth mentioning uh, in the 2018 updates. So within here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just show how we can display a velocity plot, taking a look at the aerodynamic nature of this wing mirror. Now, if we have scenarios like this with air moving over an object, we may be generating noise and you may want to look at areas of interest or areas of high noise and how you can adjust your design to counteract those. So as I mentioned, new for 2017 and 2018 is the ability to look at acoustic power. So we can actually show this in watts per meter cubed and we can plot the results directly on the screen. Now using these cut plots, we can move up and down within the system like so. So we can start to see any areas that are contributing highly to that noise uh, within our study. 
Another way we can look at this is by showing the flow trajectories. So we can take a look here, again plotting that acoustic power, and we can also play these to understand why the areas are creating high noise, like so. So some useful updates in flow simulation there. In terms of uh, just summarising, we've seen the introduction of the free surface flow option, which allows us to look at two immiscible fluids and their behaviour. We also looked at the noise prediction as well in 2017 SP4. The final update is cyclic symmetry, so we can now look at this uh, and use it to allow us to perform our simulation studies a lot faster. In our next video, we're going to be looking at SolidWorks Electrical. Thank you.